We are given that the end A of the vertical pole AB is on the level ground and T is another point on the level ground some distance away. AB is the vertical pole and C is the midpoint of this vertical pole. We are also given that the portion BC subtends an angle beta at the point P. In addition, let's assume that the portion AC subtends an angle alpha at the point P. Next, assume that the length of the vertical pole AB is equal to 2H. Since C is the midpoint, BC is equal to AC, which is equal to H. Also, we are given that the portion on the ground AP is equal to twice of AB and therefore AP is equal to 4H. Now, in right angle triangle APC, tan of alpha is equal to the perpendicular AC, which is equal to H, divided by the base AP, which is equal to 4H. Therefore, tan alpha is equal to 1 upon 4. Similarly, in right angle triangle APB, tan of alpha plus beta is equal to the perpendicular AB, which is equal to 2H, divided by the base AP, which is equal to 4H. Therefore, tan of alpha plus beta is equal to half. Now, tan of alpha plus beta can also be written as tan alpha plus tan beta divided by 1 minus tan alpha tan beta, and this is equal to half. Now, substituting the value of tan alpha, which is 1 upon 4, we get 1 upon 4 plus tan beta divided by 1 minus 1 upon 4 times tan beta is equal to half. Cross multiplying, we get 2 upon 4 plus 2 tan beta is equal to 1 minus 1 upon 4 times tan beta. This implies that 2 plus 1 upon 4 times tan beta is equal to 1 minus 2 upon 4, which is equal to half. This implies that 9 upon 4 tan beta is equal to half, and therefore the value of beta is equal to tan inverse 2 upon 9, which is the required answer.